absolutely amazing. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I am your humble narrator, and welcome back to another bundle banter. Fanatical is back again, doing it big with this all-stars multiplayer bundle, and it is actually really, really tasty, in my opinion. At least the first tier is. The second tier, eh, I could take it or leave it, but let's check out what games are in it and just what makes it so good. So, for $3.50, you can pick up Rain World, Guns Gore and Cannoli, Cave Blazers, Cook Serve Delicious 2, Neon Chrome, Gibbs, and White Noise 2. If you throw $4 on top of that, taking your total up to $7.50, you can throw in Day of Infamy and Day of Infamy Deluxe DLC. Is Day of Infamy worth having? Is the DLC worth having? Is the first tier worth having? I'm gonna go ahead and spoil it that the first tier is definitely worth having. So let's break these games down just a little bit further. Rain World is a masterpiece. It is a platformer Metroidvania set in a decaying civilization. It's tough as nails and very rage inducing but the environments and creatures within those environments will make you want to persevere and find out what comes next. I don't think I've ever seen a Metroidvania with this much atmosphere. The world truly feels alive and unscripted. Even my favorites, like the Metroid Prime Trilogy, never gave me that sort of impression. Absolutely a masterpiece, and worth experiencing either by yourself or with a friend. Just do yourself a favor and play it. Gore Guns and Cannoli you play as a mob enforcer in a 2D side-scroller with a nice art style and some great humor. You'll get to experiment with around 10 different weapons on a variety of different enemies, and of course a couple of decently built boss battles. One thing that I've noticed is that you can become a bit overwhelmed with enemies, and might be forced to cheese your way through a stage or two at some point. This always makes me feel kinda cheap, but maybe I just need to get good. The last thing I'll state is that the game is short, but luckily it also feels pretty replayable. Cave Blazers. I've got roughly 20 hours in Cave Blazers, and it was absolutely one of my favorite titles to come out of 2017. It's hard as balls, similar to Rain World, and enemies do sometimes swarm you like they do in Gore Guns and Cannoli, but it's just so damn fun to play. Drinking mysterious potions to find out what they do, good or bad, upgrading your gear and weapons, Choosing which magic spell fits your build best, it is all just so much fun. You can even pick a trait to tweak your character even more into one of the archetypes, those being melee, mage, or archer, of course. One of my favorite traits is the vampire, which vastly reduces your health to start with, but every time you kill something, you get a bit of health back, which is really good in a game that focuses a lot on not taking damage and keeping yourself healed. Oh, and then there's also blessings to upgrade your abilities even further. Holy heck, this game flew under the radar and that seems a total shame. You'd need to give this gem a shot. Cook Serve Delicious 2. Well, this is the weakest of the Cook Serve Delicious trilogy, but still not a bad game by any means. You mash buttons to prepare orders, upgrade your restaurant so more orders can fly in, and eventually you'll find yourself failing like some kind of food prep robot wizard the second iteration of Cook Serve Delicious features prep stations, which is a good idea in theory, but it kind of takes away some of the frantic energy that made me love the first and third versions of the game so much. Luckily, prep stations do go the way of the dinosaur in Cook Serve Delicious 3. This is the weakest game in the series, but Cook Serve Delicious 2 still serves as a great entry point if you haven't tried a game like this yet. Neon Chrome, a top-down shooter roguelike, with that neon vaporwave aesthetic that we all love so much. There's a nice variety of characters and classes to choose from as you attempt to make it to the end, and the variety is really nice, even though some classes are significantly stronger objectively than others. Permanent upgrades over playthroughs might also make things start to feel a bit too easy once your characters get massively upgraded to the extreme, but the ability to start on later levels in New Game Plus patches that issue just a little bit. Overall, another fantastic entry in a stellar bundle tier. Gibbs, gluttonous, idiotic, bloody zombies, is a decently fun co-op shoot-em-up. The game design is a bit old-fashioned, but the gameplay loop still managed to keep me invested for the extremely short span of the game. The art style is not my favorite, 
and the sounds fall victim to the repetitive nature of the game itself, but it might be worth rolling around for a couple of hours if your friends are game for something relatively mindless. If you're headed in by yourself, it is fairly not ideal. The game feels sluggish in places that it shouldn't, like breaking crates and collecting coins. That's not really conducive to one's survival in the middle of a zombie apocalypse. But other than some sluggish moments, the game holds up okay. White Noise 2, the only game in this bundle that I do not have, but I do have the original White Noise online. And based on that, I, I think I can do without this one. This game is a non-linear horror title. Explore rooms, collect clues, avoid the monster, or the player who's playing as the monster. I've seen quite a few titles similar to this one, and the saturation of this kind of game might be one of the reasons that this game has significant trouble maintaining a consistent player base. It's a fun romp, but you absolutely need to have a group of people to play with you. Otherwise, this game is just taking up hard drive space. There are a variety of monster and investigator player characters to keep things fresh, but I'm not sure if you'll manage to play enough games to experience them all. There are objectively better games out there, but this one isn't completely garbage if you can find somebody to play with. Day of Infamy. New World Interactive. I love them. They made Insurgency. Insurgency is a game that I've plugged countless hours into, so when I heard that they were coming out with a World War II game, I just knew that I had to see what it was like. And the results? Well, <laughs> not what I expected. It goes deep on the realism, just like Insurgency, but it doesn't feel quite as fun to play, though I think that's largely due to the setting rather than the actual game itself. The combat is much more close range, and overall just not as satisfying to me. Except when you pull out the Flammenwerfer. That thing is a ton of fun, but you probably won't actually find that many chances to let it do its glorious work. What about Deluxe DLC? Does, does that make it better? <laughs> no. Deluxe actually doesn't mean that much. You get the 28 minute soundtrack, and three starter units that could otherwise be earned in the game anyways, but I guess it doesn't exactly hurt anything, so whatever I suppose. While I appreciate what New World Interactive was going for, I did discover that this was not necessarily my scene. And if you decide that it's yours, then more power to you, but you won't catch me online playing this one, probably. So overall, how do I feel about these tiers? First tier, absolutely amazing. Rain World and Cave Blazers, definitely the strong picks out of this tier, at least in my opinion. Followed up closely by Neon Chrome. Gore Guns and Cannoli follows that, followed by Cook Serve Delicious 2. And then you've got White Noise 2 and Gibbs bringing up the rear. But only two meh games out of a set of seven? That's that's really awesome. As for the second tier, you know, take it or leave it, day of infamy. I suppose you can decide for yourself. I personally recommend leave it. I didn't really enjoy day of infamy that much. But my taste is, you know, not even that good. Let alone the be all end all. So you can probably make the decision for yourself. But yeah, personally, I could not recommend the first tier any more highly, basically. Fanatical is bringing the freaking heat with this bundle. They have had better bundles in the past, but this one truly is a contender, my goodness. If you haven't tried any of these games, if any of them catch your eye, 350 is really not that much, and you're getting a good amount of games that you can plug endless hours into, namely Rain World, Neon Chrome, and Cave Blazers. I guess maybe White Noise as well, because it's got like some procedural generation to it, but... Yeah, the player base is just a consistent issue with that game. Although if you do want to play it, now might be a good time since it is in a bundle. There should be some new players trying to play it. But yeah, give it a couple months and it'll be back down to only five players online. Which is a really sad thing to see. But oh well, I guess. Horror games ain't really my scene anyways. So I'm super excited to be covering some fanatical bundles because if this one flew under the radar, I swear that I would be doing every viewer of this channel a disservice by not pointing it out. Low cost, low 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 cost, great 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 value. I can't possibly state it enough, so I'm gonna get out of here before I state it anymore. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope that you'll like, comment, share, subscribe, do all the things to help me increase my ranking in that glorious glorious YouTube algorithm. We've also got links in the description to Twitter, Discord, where we're having a giveaway right now for Spec Ops The Line for five more days. So if you like that, head on over to my Discord server. Link is in the description. Interact with the giveaway bot. 
and you will be entered to win. Finally, there's also a link for Patreon down there. Thank you so, so much to Nika the Legend for supporting us on Patreon currently, and not just currently, all, all throughout the past. He is definitely my most stalwart ally. But anyways, friends, I hope that you'll join me for whatever we decide to do next. Thank you, as always, for watching. I shall see you in the next one. This has been Bundle Banter, the Fanatical's all-star multiplayer bundle, and I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I shall see you then. And until then, friends, bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.